Second World War started, the tendency became uh, very pro-German, and that led to a, a coup d'etat by Rashid Ali Gailani, who uh, took over government and started instituting the Nazi philosophy in the education system, in the uh, actions of the government uh, towards the Jews as well, or primarily. Uh, but then he, he was himself overthrown again in uh, May 1941. And at the beginning of June, 1st of June, we had experienced what is known as the Far Hood. I say we, the Jews. On the 1st and 2nd of June 1941, uh, the, it was Shabuot. The eve of uh, the 1st, it started. We, we, st uh, we heard uh, shooting. They started catching them in the streets, uh, killing them, beating them, torturing them. They raped a few girls, a few, quite a few girls, and they started looting businesses, homes, and that was not only in Baghdad, but it was in Mosul, in Basra. So it was a common organized thing. And they went to houses, they stole, they killed people. And then they start a pogrom against them, sitting Standing in the in the uh, in the uh, what they call bus stations, any bus who has a Jew, they come psh, slaughter him. Two hundred and fifty people were killed by that time. So mobs started to go on Jewish quarters in Baghdad uh, to loot, to kill, uh, uh, to hurt, and uh, it, it and. It was terrible. And I remember that I was a young boy, then I was 12 years old. It was summer, and uh, we, in summer we live, we, we sleep on the roof, uh, and, uh, and we were hearing uh, the, uh, the guns, uh, the rifles coming closer and closer, the shots. And fortunately for us, it, they didn't come to our own street, but they were in other streets. And uh, and then w I thought I had I had start I was starting to live, and I was all going to be killed uh, without having done anything wrong. In my mind, why, why they they were going to come to kill me? And it was terrible for me at that time. And there was nobody to protect us or, or to help us. It was a great trauma for me at that time, and I felt that in my own country I could be hounded without having done anything. At that time I was maybe just coming on to three years. And I remember how we started hearing bangs on our door, the house. And the parents took us, the children, to the roof, flat roof and threw us to the neighbor's house. Our neighbor was our landlord and a prominent Muslim. And he was of the old school. He had integrity, he had honor. And the parents threw us across the roof to the other house for protection. And, of course, they followed as well. And our neighbor went down to the street with his rifle and fired a shot in the air and uh, said, anyone who touches this house is dead. These people are under my protection. And the curious thing is, amongst those leading the rioters into our own house was our gardener. Uh, who we had to re-employ as a goodwill gesture. I will not generalize 100%, but 
but maybe 98%. These people have no loyalty to anything. When push comes to shove, your neighbor, your friend, your closest friend will kill you if that's the way things would go. And it happened. It's not a, an exaggeration. It happened on many occasions. A lot of people were looted by their neighbors. Not by the mob from the street, but by their neighbors. There were many who studied uh, together Jews and Muslim, and they helped them in their work. And but uh, in the Farhud, they killed their no uh, their friend, a uh, Jew, and his father, and raped his mother and, uh, and the sister. In this quiet of the night, I mean, this is I don't forget. We hear the sh the shouting of the Jews, you know, when the the looters come and attack them. This is lasted for two three days and then everything started to clear. It was my, I mean, I know every, I remember every bit of it, that's all.